In case you missed it, two families are without a home tonight after a fire at their apartments in Beaumont. It happened around 530 this morning. Firefighters rushed here to the Mosaic Apartments on North 10th. Two units destroyed. You see the aftermath. Chief Scott Wheat tells 12 News everyone made it out safely. He says the fire was an accident. A motorcycle driver is recovering in the hospital after getting into a wreck with several vehicles. It happened on I-10 heading west just before the Laurel Street exit this morning. Beaumont police say the motorcyclist collided with a car and a truck. The truck ended up flipped. The motorcyclist is expected to be OK. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has agreed to apologize and pay millions in taxpayer dollars to staffers who accused him of corruption. In October of 2020, several of Paxton's aides wrote a letter to the FBI. They accused him of improper influence, bribery and other crimes. Under the terms of today's $3.3 million settlement, Paxton made no omission of wrongdoing. In a statement, in fact, the AG said he agreed to the settlement to save taxpayer dollars and start his new term without the burden of accusations. The settlement not final. Lawmakers at the Capitol must approve it. Now to the tornado aftermath here at home. Today, the Orange County Sheriff's Office organized a link sale to help one of their own. Deputy Jimmy Smith lost his home during the tornado two weeks ago. A tree demolished his kitchen and bathroom and branches damaged the rest of the house. Look at this. While well, the money raised today will help Smith and his family rebuild. All I can say is that the overwhelmingness of the support with, within the, the department and also the community is, is just, uh, I'm so grateful for that. Organizers raised more than $3,000 for his family.